Hey guys, here's a quick solution to that dreaded gap between your stove and the counter right down in here where all the crumbs and liquid and junk goes. And then you, uh, in, in Florida, you gotta be careful. You don't want any food getting down there. You can draw the cockroaches in. So this is my little example of crumbs and cracks. Didn't wanna make them small enough to fall in, but you get the idea. They always seem to go right in there. And if you pour anything, it falls down there. So my solution was these things. Now. Here's an improvement on the idea. I'll put a link down below to these things so you guys can grab them. But um, they sell them so that you set this like that. And I thought that kind of stunk because it was just sitting there. It gets kicked around. It doesn't really do the job. So when I got them, I'm like, no way, I'm not doing that. So what I did was I just folded them and jammed them in the crack. So if you see how I'm doing that, Actually, I've done it so many times now that I just fold them in there. They're nice and tight on each side. And I don't know if you can see that. I'll correct that. Um, so I just folded them in and I shoved them down flush. So you can see it fits flush here. And can you see that okay? And it becomes almost not visible. It doesn't get kicked around. And... You can cut them if you need to, but I didn't need to. They come, I don't know what these are, 32s or 36s or something. I'll put a link down below. You can get different colors, I think. But So that's the theory real quick. And it's been working great. So you tuck it in, jam it in there nice and flush. It's black. It kind of looks like part of the stove. And you can see nothing's going to fall down in there now. Not a liquid and not a pile of sugar or whatever, anything else. And then what you can do to maintain them, if you don't feel like pulling them out every time, all I do is I take, you know, like my dish rag, if crumbs get down in there or whatever, the back side of the knife, and you can just kind of pull it out and wipe it off like that. And they've actually stayed pretty clean. And then obviously if they get too bad, you just pull them out, wash them in the sink, let them dry and stick them back in. But um, way better than what they were designed for in terms of being that lip that overlays. So um, again, I'll put a link down below to them on Amazon. And I appreciate any likes and subscribes. I hope that helps you guys. Take care.